Hello, 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 and welcome to Anvil Saga. I'm Evie Greenbottle, and today we're going to be trying out this game. Now, it has been in early access for about a year, but in less than one week, it is leaving early access, and the full game is going to be available, and I want to try it out. I want to see what this game has to offer, because it looks really cute. So, I'm going to start a new game. I did give it a little go earlier. We don't need a tutorial. I've, I've given a bit of a go. So we start off as the son of a very well-known blacksmith and we want to become a master, but we are not quite sure. We're not confident in our abilities just yet. So our name is Arthur and we are the main character in this story. And our father's gonna let us know how to get this going. So, all right, so we've got Jean-Jacques Jr. Oh, that's this guy over here. Jean-Jacques Jr. And he is our rival, I think. And this is Olivia, fair Olivia. And I think we want to win her heart. So we're going to have to make her a jewel, a trinket of sorts. They want a brooch with a gem. And let's see, we get to make some choices and the choices are going to permanently affect the story. So... We have to make our choices kind of carefully. My father brought a jewel for Baron's ring with him. I could probably use it. So they've brought a gem. Hmm. So we could use the jewel that's meant for the Baron. Or we could just make a simple brooch. Or we could use a fake jewel. Now, I think this is our, yeah, success chance. So it's better if we use that jewel. But then later on, I think we're going to have to deal with the Baron, which would be kind of bad. But I think we'll do it anyways. We want to win her heart. So let's use a pretty jewel for her. And we're gonna go right away to making our brooch. All right, there it is. It's looking lovely and everyone thinks it's stunning. And even Jean-Jacques, our rival, is impressed with our handiwork. However, uh oh, here comes the Baron and we were supposed to use that jewel to make something for him. And now we're gonna have a problem because we cannot make his ring. So we can tell the Baron that we've lost the jewel or we could use a fake jewel. Now, if we use a fake jewel, it's a 30% chance of success, which is not very good, obviously. Father will be angry and we'll be in a bit of trouble, but we'll get 50 gold. Or the Baron is the Baron's going to be upset and possibly kill us. So, I mean, that is really low, but we would get 50 gold. I think we better be, we better be truthful. The truth is always the best decision. So, the gem isn't here. It hasn't arrived yet. Oh, so it's a bit of a half truth and we're not actually telling the truth that we lost the gem or we use the gem. We're just saying it's never arrived. The roads are unsafe. Bandits may have taken it. Oh dear. Well, the Baron doesn't need anything else from us and Jean-Jacques is taking him off. So that could it could have gone worse, I guess. But it's time to close up for the day and head home. Ooh, can me and Olivia be friends? We're just not their equal son, but in a merchant's family, a groom is judged by how fat his purse is. Cheer up, everything is in your hands. So if we make enough money, we might be able to win her heart. And this was the last fair that we ever got to experience with our dad because he got really sick. And now we're all on our own in our small fortress. We've got a little kitchen space, a little, well, I guess we've got two dining room tables, but there's a little bedroll on the floor. And of course, over here is our forge. So we've got to start from scratch to try to win fair Olivia's heart. Let's see what we can do. So we have got a forge here where we can smelt down our iron ore. So currently we have six ores and then we have the ingots and we can smelt them over here to whatever the customers need. So let's get our place opened because we need to complete five orders. We're going to need to make sure we have enough ingots to complete those orders. And here comes our very first customer and he wants some chain. It's going to cost three ingots, but he's going to pay us six coins, so I think that's good. Now, if we come over here, we'll start hammering away. And this is kind of the order list, and we can move the orders around when we have multiple to prioritize them. Now, this person needs a loan. They're going to give us five coins later, but right now, no coins. I guess we'll accept it. It's not the most ideal thing. And this one as well. So let's get both of those. And now they're here. Now we could rearrange them, but I don't think we need to. And our people are happy with us getting those done. We will slowly run out of ingots. We have to keep an eye over here. This is going to cost four. That will only leave us with four, which is not a whole lot. But we can go here and we can buy more. We can order a crate of ores. We'd get 10 ores and they're going to be delivered. So there we go. The courier is going to come. And they take a little while. So it's good that we get it fairly early. But we will have to smelt those up. Now, we can't afford that one. But we're going to be left with just two after that. So I may close shop, I think. But that's the last one we needed anyway. So 
running out of ore, it's time to dig a shaft because we can get a mining shaft, which will allow us to mine our own ore. So we won't have to buy them in the future. So build a room underground. Here's the delivery. So he's going to come and bring some ore. So we can kind of smelt that. He can work on smelting while we work on building a room here. So we want to build a room underground. I don't think we can change the roof or wall types because we're just going underground. And the construction workers will come and they'll take the curtains off when they're finished. So we just need to leave them be for now. But we have more ores that we could be smelting. So once we get a couple ready, we'll open up shop again. Now your people will queue up and if they don't get their stuff delivered in, in time, then they'll be mad and they'll just leave. Who is this person? Is he the builder? Oh, he must be the builder. He's going behind his curtain. I think we've got seven now. We'll have eight by the time they get here. Maybe even nine by the time we get some customers. So hopefully we can accept a few more orders because we are down to just 102 coins and we don't want to be down to 102 coins. We want lots of coins. Now over in here, so we've got our coins. We also have our popularity, our fame. And then we've got our ingots, of course, our ores, and then wood, which we have I've not actually discovered yet. Now he wants us to make him a lock, but it's gonna be six debt. So I'm not sure when they're going to pay those debts, but I'm gonna take them for now. I mean, eventually it might be a terrible idea. <gasps> All right, our new room is done. The fabric has been removed so we can see. We want it to be a working room. We want it to be a mine. Check. And then in a mine, we need a mine entrance can go there and we also need a wooden crate where we can store things we can only put it on this side of the room let's put it as close as we can to our minds so they don't have too far to travel and that's all that room needs so now that exclamation mark is gone so this room is now available to be used i think but we need to get these guys finished and then perhaps we could go and mine some ores for ourselves well, let's get a few orders done because we've got a couple things here that one's only gonna cost three so that's six that'll leave us with just five now we also have our hit points our energy levels and our food uh, bar to see how hungry we are and we're gonna need to make sure that our our man Arthur he stays nice and healthy he also has some skills so he's got a smithing skill a melting skill a sharpening skill and a mining skill and as he does things he should improve his skills all right this is the last one we can do it's gonna cost all of our ingots that we have then we'll probably need to go into our mine and actually start working because we have no ores and no ingots but our popularity has gone up. We're now at 10 out of 20, which is great. Although buying that mine and that thing have cost us a bit of money, we're around 59 coins. All right, so he's in there mining. Hopefully that will help his mining skill because currently he's at minus one, which is not ideal. And he'll work more efficiently the higher his skill level is. There he is, he's out of the mine. He's got his first bit. He's gonna drop it off in his little box and then he heads straight back in. And his skill has gone up a little bit with mining there. It's overtaken the sharpening skill. But I'm going to let this tick on a little bit. I'm going to fast forward time and I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, the sun is beginning to rise. We've got a few overnight. We managed to get 10 ores. I think I'm going to send him to bed and we can sleep a bit until it's time to get going. So our character's energy has gotten a bit low. It was about half. So we can send him to sleep. Now, the better quality bed, the better quality rest you have. But currently we've got kind of the worst bed. It's just like a pallet on the ground. A bit depressing, really but hopefully we'll be able to get him a better bed once we start making some money. It's hard to work in a forge alone. The village chief has sent us three young men who want to become our apprentices. Ooh, so we can choose an apprentice. So this young man is new to the village. He came from Gascony. My name is Theris, Master Blacksmith. Monty is the local trickster and rascal. He tries to look like a nobleman in everything he does. Ah, oh, look at this. <laughs> That's great. My name is Monty, sir. I've always wanted to become your apprentice for ages if you will have me. And this is Stone, winner of all the fights and wrestling contests in the village. I can do all sorts of things and I'm strong as an ox. I'm sure I'll be useful. So which of them is worthy of becoming our apprentice? So now each of them, so he's from Southern France, which means England will like us less by 10, but France will like us more by five. Monty means England will like us less by 10. France will like us less by 10, but the bandits will like us more by 15 or Stone Prove our relationship a bit with England, but lower it with France. Hmm. I mean, Stone is going to be really... Stone is going to be really strong, and I feel like a blacksmith needs to be really strong. So let's go with Stone. He's going to be of good use to us. Now, he needs a room where he can rest, and he needs to be paid. So he's got a salary that we need to be paying every three days. But Stone is here to help us. So, straight off, Stone, we can have him working. And he's got his own skills. He only got 14 salary. He is, though. You are a smith, right? In the name of the majesty, the dolphin of France, I'm authorized to collect the land tax. Oh, dear. Great. Okay, we got to pay tax. 12 coins. I guess we can do that. We're down to 47 now. 
We will need to pay stone 14 at some point. Now, I didn't mention this yet, but all of our characters also have traits. Now, stone is Hercules. This worker's movement speed almost doesn't slow down when he's carrying. And he has arachnophobia. So mining, he's got a 10% chance of slowing down because he's looking for spiders. Now, what about us? We have no special abilities, but we can't be fired. I mean, that's good, I guess. Right, Arthur's up. So I think we can open the shop now. We're going to have a bit of stuff going on. Now, just because he has arachnophobia doesn't mean he can't work in the mine. It just means that he might slow down occasionally if he is working in the mine. Here's our first person. Ooh, three, but for seven coins, we'll take it. Now, there's nothing for you to do. We might swap them and send me send ourselves back down. Oh, we received a new trait. Okay. Oh, so we can get traits. Positive and negative traits. And let's see. What trait do we have then? So we've become God-fearing. There's a 15% chance this worker might stop to pray while working. But the worker smells profits a mile away. He has a 15% chance of getting additional coins from a metal item that he created. So it would probably be best... I know that you're scared of spiders, but you go down there and do that. We'll stay up here and do this. We are quickly going to run out of ores again, though. We're only going to be left with one after this. We may have to say no. Oh, we only need one. Okay, let's do that and then let's close up because we're not going to have any more. So we've got a chance of gaining extra money, which I think we may have just done. But now we are out. We don't have any more stuff. We could possibly swap these two. You come this way and you come up here because he's going to be slower in the mines because of his arachnophobia. So it's better if no one, if the shop's closed, it's better if we are mining, I guess. It's going to be quite good as we get workers having to think about those things tactfully, making sure people are in the right jobs for themselves. Now we are getting kind of hungry here and I bet you we'd be a faster worker if we had food. So let's wait until he comes upstairs or we come upstairs. And can you come here? Come to our little kitchen. We've got a little pantry here. It says one out of three. So that's going to be, we have one meal in there. Now he can't do anything while we eat. So why don't you come down here? They take a long time though to walk around. Right, he's made the meal, but he's not eating it. Go sit and eat your meal. There you go. This employee's full. His energy decreases slower. And that's going to last a short time because he's, he's had enough to eat. Let's come down the stairs. You come over here. Stone, I think you can come back up here. It's just going to be a bit faster if Arthur's doing the mining. We have four so we can make this. The wind smells bad. And did you level up your skills a bit? You did. Okay, so he's actually leveled up his smithing to one now because that was at zero before. So that's closed. Let's tick time on again and let's get Stone all rested up and maybe even feed him in the morning while we gather some more ores. Okay, Stone is now awake. So come and do some smithing. But oh, we stopped to pray. So Arthur is God-fearing. Just uh, here, this one. So the 50% chance that he might stop to pray while working, which means he's not, he's going to take a little break, I guess. And this worker used to be a fencer, so he knows full well how to make a deadly weapon. There's a 25% chance that knights that order weapons from him will agree to pay double the price. Double the price sounds good. Let's get this opened, I think. Arthur may need to go to bed. So let's have him come on out. Go to bed. Stone, you're going to be working once we get a few orders here. Here's our first order. So come on over. We need to just do two more with you. Ooh, that's a really good one. Two for seven. Okay, got to think about those deals that make the most sense and use our resources wisely. Everyone seems to be talking about the war like they've got nothing better to do. More than anything, I hope the war doesn't reach this place or both of us will end up doing hard labor instead of hard work. Yikes. Oh, that's a really good one. The higher your forge's prestige, the more appealing it'll look to rich clients. By increasing your forge's prestige and upgrading the stall, you can attract money bags who are willing to pay more than peasants. And we will be able to increase our storage space. Upgrade the house decorations to increase your prestige limit. With a stall like this, you can only expect bumpkins. Time to change the ramshackle shed for something more respectable. Open the room construction menu and we're going to do some upgrades here, possibly. Let's keep you working a little bit. Construction menu. Oh, upgrade the stall. 200 gold coins and we would need fame level 50. Now we can't... Our fame level seems to be capped currently at 20. So I don't think we can build a room. It's 100 to build a room. Oh, I could actually build another room then. Is it a good idea to build a room though? I go check. Well, we're doing it. I don't know if that was the right choice or not, but it's the choice we're going with. Okay, are we working? Get back to work. You're going the wrong way. Go back and make whatever the chain. Go make the chains. And then we're going to be starting to get kind of low. It's going to leave us with just six. That's going to leave us with three. So we may need to close. We need, kind of need Arthur to wake up and go do some more stuff. Arthur, go back and do this. I know you're not quite fully awake, but we have never seen this merchant. Oh, oh, we've got a merchant coming. Stone, go and find out what he wants. Hey, big guy, call the owner. I didn't come here all the way from, oh, to talk to an apprentice. All right, I guess we're coming up the stairs then. Don't call Stone an oaf. He's a lovely, he's a lovely apprentice. You come from afar. How could I help? 
He came from the south. He's setting up trade links. All right, that might be good. Don't even think of refusing. I barely escaped the demands myself. Without a good supplier, there's no smithy business. If I can complete the order well enough, Antonio will supply me with indispensable goods from faraway lands. So he wants five of each of these things. Is he willing to pay 10 coins each? Okay, I guess we'll take the order then. That is quite a lot of stuff though. We better close up shop. Hold on, sorry, I cannot accept your orders. No, I've got a lot of stuff we need to be doing here. Um, no, no, sorry, very sorry. Arthur, come down to the mine. Make yourself some food. Arthur will get some ores. We've got quite a lot of things we need to be working on here now. Who is this guy? Oh, the, a room. Uh, so it could be a kitchen or it could be a living room. It can't be those. It can't be that either. So we could make it a, a living room. So a living room would increase our amount of workers, but stone doesn't currently have a room. Could we leave it empty until we make enough money to put his bed in? A good bed, right? We want to get a better quality bed for people. Uh oh, time is ticking down on these. And we are not even close to have starting them. Right there, he's cooking. That's helpful, at least. Then he can eat. Then he can go work. And we'll take time on a bit while you get to smelting. We've got quite a lot of ores there to get smelted. And of course, Arthur's ever finding more. Arthur's getting a bit hungry and tired, though. So we may want to consider feeding him so that he works a bit more efficiently. Okay, we're going to run out of space soon for ores. So, once you've got that last one, come over here and start making those nails. You smelt that up. You're going to need to sleep soon, but so is Arthur. It's a shame we don't have two beds, but... That's <laughs> ah, okay. Right, you've got your food, so now go eat your food. Then you'll be feeling a lot better. And then I guess we'll send Arthur to sleep? Or maybe we'll just send Stone to sleep. Stone's fairly full. But I mean, Arthur's going to be fully full in a second. Which hopefully means he's got that surge of work speed so let's send him back down to the mines we've just we need quite a lot more i mean each of these costs four we need four so we need 16 total so you've got a lot of mining to do there arthur although it has increased it's now his top skill is mining and stone is really close to leveling up his smithing but his melting is currently his highest now the higher the skill level the more efficiently they work so that oh oh he's just gotten very tired so i don't think he's going to be behaving safely uh oh, our rival's here. Hey, Arthur, it's been a while. Have you decided to follow your father's footsteps? If not me, then who? How's your smithy doing? Quite well off, thank you. That said, my father recently passed away just like yours, and now I'm just. Oh, he's not a junior anymore. We'll just call him JJ, but he's not Triple J. I uh, think we are also going to be fighting over the same woman here. Olivia apparently has blossomed into a very fine woman. Right, you need to sleep. And Stone, I'm going to have you go and smelt those ores for now. Because he, I don't know if he gets a work bonus. It doesn't seem like he does because he is full and he's not tired. So let's get some of these done. We may have to send him into the mine. But he can make at least two chains. So go make two of those chains. Okay, now we're out of resources. So you need to go downstairs and you can work. Arthur needs to sleep for quite a while here. Now, of course, while we're working on this big order, we're not actually making any money. But once we get this big order done, we should be getting... 30 coins. France demands that you pay 19 coins as land tax. What's your decision? I mean, I don't think you have an option. Pay the tax. You, don't, you can't just choose whether or not you pay taxes. You just, a fact of life, right? You just pay taxes. So it best be just paying your taxes. Although if they come back again, we're going to have a hard time and we're going to have a really hard time paying stone. And it looks like his wages have gone up. I imagine that's because his skills have increased. So now we have to pay him more. But we have enough ores now to make these last two chains. So hopefully we get enough coins to pay Stone's wages because I don't think he'll want to keep working for us if we can't. Okay, good. Our shop's at our dis his disposal. We're going to be mutually profitable, hopefully. And he has paid us 82 coins. So that is very good. We need to keep smelting because ideally we want to open our shop up again and allow some customers to come back in so we can make more money. Okay, we're gonna need to smelt up some more things. Oh, one for six, we'll definitely do that. I wanna make sure that the cost of resources to the income is a good ratio, because if it's like four for four, it's not gonna be worth it, but two for six, pretty good. And we can do that as well, we've got the resources. Now, of course, we're aiming to get 200 coins. I think we're at a fairly good, fairly good rate we're making money now. We need to make sure we have enough to pay Stone, because we need to pay him every three days, I believe. Three for six is okay. We're just gonna have to wait a minute. We're not quite at that. Right, come on over. Five for 11, that's quite a hefty price, isn't it? Five is a lot of resources, but I think it's worth it. See, three for four though is not great. I'm gonna say no to that one. Ooh, one for seven though, we'll definitely be doing. Two for eight will do as well, but we need to close up because we're gonna have a hard time here keeping up with these orders. Oh yeah, we're definitely, that's not going to happen, is it? Uh-oh, everyone's getting kind of mad. They're gonna leave. Five for 11, that's a bit of a shame, but 
Yeah, we're not gonna get that one done, but we can get these two done. That is my bad for not paying attention to how much time was left. Okay, how are we doing? Okay, Stone is starting to get hungry and tired, so let's send, send Stone to sleep. Actually, maybe we build the bed. Buy some furniture, buy that better bed, and let's put a better bed upstairs. I'm gonna put it close to the door. Now, to be a bedroom, it needs a table and chair as well. Do we put in the nice one? Green, yeah, I guess. Okay, for, yeah. So it's like, it's like a, their living space. I mean, unfortunately, Arthur does not have the best room, but we wanna make sure our employees are very happy. But we'll, I think we'll probably both use this bed upstairs, to be fair, because it's the better bed. So they're gonna have additional comfort, which means it's gonna go up faster, which is good. Okay, how's Arthur doing downstairs? Still trekking along, getting some skills in mining. He's not exactly a proficient miner, but that's okay. Oh, it's full. Okay, so that's now full. So he's had to come upstairs, I guess. This box only fits 10. Oh, there's space upstairs, I think, for us. We can actually store it in here, but he, now he has to kind of come far away. That's okay. He can get these melted down. Guess I'll have to go mining because we're fairly good on everything else at the moment. We could use more ores. Oh, we are out of coins. Oh, we must have... Ah, oh, we paid him, I think. Oh, no, wait. Did we pay him? Don't, I don't know. We don't have enough money. <laughs> what is, where'd the money go? Oh, we bought all the furniture. Oh, I'm so silly. Okay, we're gonna need to open up. We're gonna need to stone come and debt. No, I'm not doing this. That's a huge amount of debt. I don't have the money for that. We need to be like debt again. The Baron's here. Arthur, you're back. Your father was quite the craftsman. Such a shame he passed away. He did good work and most importantly, his prices were low. I see you're restoring his old business. That's right. We need a good blacksmith, especially in times of war. We need to earn his trust. Okay, that's all right. We learned everything we could from our father. All right, the Baron has ordered seven ceremony swords. Why does he need them? Who knows? Can I skimp out on him? Good question. We should put some effort into them. They're going to cost six ingots each, though. Oh, my gosh. Four ingots each or two ingots each. I think we better put the effort into it. Let's make our the Baron very happy. I think we need to close up, though. If we're doing this, I mean, we do need the coins, though. Let's grab that for a second. We're just going to turn this one here. We keep working. Oh, you can't. There's no ingots. Arthur, I need you to get up. Quick, quick, Arthur. <laughs> go work. We are out of everything. Okay, go and make that one for the seven coins. We definitely need the seven coins because... Oh, that's not even worth anything. We're using six to make one. Ugh. Right, what are you doing? Go work down here. Stop coming back upstairs. Uh-oh, this is bad. Is he gonna have the patience for this? That's a lot of stuff. We don't have enough coins to pay. Uh-oh. Uh, this could be bad. Come on. Oh, this is bad. We probably should have made mediocre ones. Or the middle quality one, at least. Okay, if we can make... We need to make two, though, really. We got three that time. That is quite good. Okay, that's enough to make one. I can't pay the salary. What happens? Oh, he's sad. Okay, what happens then? His employees moves to here because of the way he was treated. If his mood goes down too much, he will leave. Okay, that would be bad. Hopefully, we can make sure we pay him next time. We were really close. I just shouldn't have bought all that furniture. <laughs> Workers need to be fed regularly. They might starve to death, which would be bad. Our worker has been fed, so... He's not even paying us at all until we're done all of this. Did I just see Arthur come out? What are you doing, Arthur? Get back in the... Oh, Arthur's quite hungry. Can I afford to buy food? I can. All right, buy some food. Arthur, you can eat when the work is done. Or something. Okay, here's the food back. So, Arthur, do one more, and then you can go eat. Arthur is going to eat. He doesn't even care. He's not even bothered by what I have to say. He's just like, I'm getting food. You can't stop me. All right, that seems fair. All right, you go downstairs and work then for a while while Arthur eats. Although, by the time you get down there, it's going to be done, isn't it? This is taking forever. It's gonna be done eating. He's very happy. You, okay, I guess you come downstairs. And Stone's done with that collection, we'll swap out. Although he's getting tired, actually. We may need to put Stone to bed for a bit. Stone, go to bed, you go in here. It's okay, the, this, the Baron has a lot of patience, so I think we're fine. And we need to make two more swords only, which is pretty good. That means we need, what, 12 more? Well, six more now, six more ores. But yeah, we're actually, we're doing pretty good because he gets a lot more than just the two at a time. Now he can't store any more in there, so he's gonna go upstairs. Okay, that's our last two that we needed. So your swords are ready. Of course, my lord. And I made them as best as I could. My father would have done a better job. Rude. We did a great job. How are you talking about? Oh, good. He paid like a decent amount, actually. I think we can up open the store for a bit. We're going to have 13. Ooh, a four for 12 is good. Mm, another person who wants to have debt. I don't think so. No, sorry. France wants 21 coins of tax. France wants way too much tax. Ooh, but we have 226 now. So, if we come in here... Oh, no, we need fame level 50. Oh, right. How did we increase our fame, though? How do we get this? Upgrade the house decorations to increase your prestige limit. Okay, so we need to buy new furniture. We need decorations of some sort. Upgrade the stall. Okay, so we need a stall to get some of these things. I don't know how to upgrade the stall because I don't know how to increase our fame because everything to increase our fame needs a stall. 
It wouldn't be the worst idea to buy a bigger shelf for the kitchen. 50 coins. Can Oh wait, can we remove that one? Hold on. Change the room design or increase the fame. Oh wait, sorry, what? Fresh wood smells of forest and sawdust. Okay, so now we've got max 25. That's good. I guess we could do that to all the rooms. It does cost 65 though. It's not cheap. We need to get up to 50 fame. Right, we're opening the shop in the middle of the night, but we've got some resources collected. So I feel like we're in a fairly good position to fulfill some orders here. And hopefully increase our prestige up to 30, but make enough money. Oh, what? Why are you mad? What did I do to you? I don't understand. Sometimes they're just grumpy. I don't know. All right. Father Bernard is here. He needs something for this humble monk. Right, what do the servants of our Lord desire? They need sturdy locks. Ones that no thief could pick. Uh-oh. They're brewing beer, but people have been stealing the beer. So if we help them, we'll get 70 gold and our relations with the Holy Church will improve. Uh, and if we freeze, then yeah, our relations get worse. So we definitely want to get the money from them. Now we need to close this off because we're not going to be able to do anything else. I'm not taking your debt on, sir. Okay, we've got enough now to finish these locks up, which is going to help us make better relations. So if we look at our relationship tab, actually, we can see we've got 53 relations with England, 57 with France, 52 with the bandits, 66 with the Holy Church, and 45 with the witches. Those all seem pretty good. I mean, none of them, I don't know. I don't know, what, what's the max? 100? Because then actually maybe they're not that great. They're just kind of okay. Right, Arthur's starting to get hungry. We don't have any food, so we need to order some food. Is there anything else we can order? What is that? We can get some better mining tools. Although, let's not do that. It's gonna cost us too much money. We just need the food, not that. Just the food. Right, here comes our food delivery, because Stone is getting hungry. Arthur's okay for now. Oh, but we've got a cart here. Ah, oh, it was just the merchant. Oh no, wait, someone is coming. An archer, the royal hunter. I am in here on his royal majesty's decree. Right, they need some tools. So we have traps to hunt rabbits, which gives us 50 gold, or 50 gold to get arrowheads to hunt the ducks, or spearheads for the boars. So either way we get 50. So we just need to build some of these and we already have all the metal we need for those actually. So that's really good. Arthur can come work over here for a little bit. We'll finish making these traps actually and then we can get our royal payment right our traps are ready good luck hopefully that all goes very smoothly for them now i think it'd be good we need to change the room decor we need to be upgrading it to increase our prestige so let's do that oh we can increase the doors as well how much does that cost 25 oh these are not cheap but it does increase our prestige and i think well, yeah we could make it this that's 40 though okay we better not spend any more money on increasing our favorite now but we're up to 47 which is very good the nobles are preparing for a hunt in the local forest. Price for wood is higher. Order prices are higher. Hunters, knights come more often. Peasants and merchants come less often. Monks and witches won't come. But we've made a bit more money. So I think if we upgrade this roof, that should be the last one we need to do. It gives us three prestige, which makes 50 now. So as long as we can get 200 coins, we should be, and actually fill this bar, we should be able to upgrade our prestige here. Okay, the commanders of the armies are here. Oh, we're gonna be swamped with work. Support England, his birthplace, or French, which gave him a home. So this is a major problem between the two houses. Do we support France, where we currently live? I think that seems like a good idea. The English men beset us on all sides. Okay, even though your family comes from England, the local baron said very good things about your father. We need to entrust. Though if we accept things for him, we need... He needs five swords and five shields. So 20 points with France, or minus 25. I guess we'll go with 20. But that means we can't work with England right now. And we need to get these going, so... Arthur is awake. Let's take a look at our supplies. That is going up. So he's he's busy downstairs doing that. We need to get these swords and shields going. And they're not particularly cheap, resource-wise. I wonder, okay, you've got three mining. You've got two mining. I think we should have probably switch these guys from places. Which we kind of knew. So can you come up here, please? And you come downstairs. Uh-oh. The royal hunter. The hunt went quite splendidly. These rabbits are indeed delicious. Have a little token of appreciation from his royal majesty. I mean, I don't know what we got as appreciation, but we'll take it. Right, here's a lord. Okay, the English are now help asking us for help. We can't do it, though, because we are already helping the French. That's obviously quite bad for... Oh, no, Arthur, go back there. Sorry, sorry, Arthur. I meant stone. You can make a couple, I guess, but then you need to go back to your other duties. Where are you coming, Arthur? Oh, he needs to eat. He's going to go eat. Fine, you go eat, then. Stone go and... Oh, it's nothing to smelt. Well, that's going well. He's almost done. He's going to eat, and then he'll be fine. You... Why don't you go take a nap? Go, go and take a nap. That will be good. Oh, yes. Pay Stone his salary. That's good. Since we didn't do that last time and we felt pretty bad about it. No, not the tax, man. 11 coins to the church. Fine, fine. Everyone just wants something from us, don't they? 
So this game is leaving early access in a week. So well, less than a week now by the time this video comes out. And I love it. I think it's great. If you have been enjoying this video so far, make sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. But also check this one out. It's on Steam right now and you could be playing as well. And I think it's amazing. I, I think it's really fun and really cute what you can do in this game. I like the little art style. I like the basic premise of it. I like how there's a bit of strategy involved and it's really good. I am really absolutely enjoying this and definitely think I want to play more of it. So yeah, let me know if you want to see more of it because I am having a great time. All right, these are the last two swords that we need to help out the French, which is great. Okay. Is this the Frenchman coming to collect the things? I've been sent by the Duke to retrieve the order. Everything ready? Yes. We're glad to serve our homeland. Oh, it's not our homeland. It's our, it's where we live now. Okay, let's send stone to go do that. Get the forge going. We need to get as many iron bars as we can. We're gonna open up today and make sure we can complete a bunch of orders because we need to make that 100 so that we can upgrade. I think we can probably open up now. Right, here's our first customer. He's wearing blue, so it must be the French. Oh, no, Arthur, you keep working there. Stone, you can build that. See, now he's wearing red, so will he get mad when we help out him? Yeah, he doesn't like that. So it's got, oh yeah, look, our relationship with England is getting much worse. Right, this guy's in blue though, so we can help him. I think we can help, I mean, we can help both sides. We just have to not do it in front of each other. All right, we've got enough coins now, but what we need is enough prestige. Ah, Father Bernard's back. The beer is safe and everything is good. He wants a request from the whole fraternity. So what do they need? So we can send an employee and they're going to have a good rest. We only have the one apprentice. so We have to send stone, I guess, but that's okay. A skill level bonus plus 15%. I, I mean, it's good, I guess, but now we don't have stone. He's gonna go try out some beers, but now we're by ourselves, and we're gonna we're about to have a hard time here. Uh, let's come upstairs. We need to make that thing right away. Come on, Arthur, run over there quick, quick! Oh, we need to, we need to, no, we need to close this as well. There's no way we can do any more business today. We're gonna to be tight pressed to finish these as it is. Bit of unfortunate timing having uh, the the brothers take our smithy. Oh. Okay, so he did not like, uh, he did not like that we helped out that guy. I guess because he was a bandit, but you no, know it's not easy. It's not easy making everyone happy here. These people do not like each other, but I do like how that is kind of an aspect of this game where you have the different factions and you do anger them if you help anyone else. Kind of interesting. Although making it difficult for us to increase our fame here. Now, of course, we don't have an employee at the moment, which is probably not super ideal. We're gonna have to do all the work ourselves which means a lot of walking back and forth, I imagine. Well, what's happening over here? This looks like Jack Sparrow. This is Captain Jack and is an eccentric pirate. So yes, which way is south? There, in the direction of the old mill, I think. Are you lost? Oh, decidedly not, Smith. I just can't find my ship. Well, he's quite far away from here. Are you a fisherman or a sailor? I'm a captain, Smith. Remember that. Listen up, can you make me a compass? Ooh, a compass. Okay, we might be able to make a compass. Oh, and uh, Stone has come back and he's exhausted and works even slower. So great, we're gonna have to send him to bed. We will make your compass. So we need a few things here though. We're going to need to craft those, which should be no problem. But then we need to buy something. We need this, buy that please. I can't believe he's come back from his vacation completely exhausted. That is not great, is it? Antonio will help me pick the right item. Yes, Antonio's coming with the right item, so it's all good. Oh, it's already coming, actually. So maybe don't even go downstairs. Just have a quick nap while we wait for this to be delivered. The quickest of naps, though. Stone is going to be sleeping for ages. <laughs> right, come build that. We're all done. That was a quick one. Hopefully that helps our prestige. Help the eccentric pirate. Right, he's off. We have helped the eccentric pirate. He's going to leave. Gertrude the witch. Smith, there's a curse upon this smithy. I can see it clearly. Oh, man. Not a curse. Naturally, you'll just need to complete a small order, right? Of course. Right, we need to forge a new cauldron. We'll get 50 gold and our relationship with the witches will improve. So I guess we can do that. Nah, the cauldron is oh, it's not actually that bad to build. So should just be able to do it. No on red, no on red. I think we need to close up again. Be gone, curse. That's it, it's done. Rainfall that was initially modest has turned into a downpour. The roads were washed away. Deliveries from the merchant shop will take longer. Price for wood is higher. Order prices are higher. Clients come together less often hunters and merchants don't come okay it is really raining out there so 
I think we can open up the shop again. We are getting quite a good amount of ores. Okay, and should be changing who's actually coming. So these are, the boots are soaked. Yeah, these guys are okay with me helping out both of them. So that's helpful. And the prestige is going up. We are getting closer. Yes, we can help you as well. Especially since no one else is about. They missed that one. Now, this is not the best deal in the world, but we'll take it. Four for six is also not the best deal in the world, but we'll take it. Our, it, it is going up. Everything is going up, which is good. We've run out of stuff though. Okay, we're back open again. This should be the day where we make our prestige, I hope. That is a huge amount of debt, actually, so I think we will take it. I kind of want to just help out as many people as we can to make sure that we are getting the prestige. There we go, we've got this prestige. So, if we go into build now, we have upgraded our stall. So, the next one would be 350 coils coins and a fame level of 150, but we should have unlocked quite a few things in... Not in there, where am I looking? in our build zone so the furniture we can now get a solid bed good day rest is guaranteed comfort level of two we can also get a mahogany chair and a wide sofa mm, a large table a medium sized box so it has capacity for 20 ore which would be great if we could swap out that one for this then we could also get a small bookcase which would be good there's books they can read books our people can read books and then improve their skills a large durable wardrobe which would actually hold 10 food and a grindstone. So we can have a new set of orders. That might be a very good, where can I put it though? Oh, it has to be inside. So we'd have to make a new room, I guess, which would be a room for grinding things. So perhaps we need to build a room then. Price is a hundred. We can afford it. I'm gonna put it out the back, put the roof like that for now. Okay, that is being built. So we'll see what we can put in there in just a few minutes. We're going to need to get some more coins, though, so let's get everything going again. Sir Philip is here. Finally, I found a blacksmith in this dump. You're not all thumbs, I hope. He needs an impeccable sword. Sir Philip needs a sword that's better than anyone else's. Time to... Oh, they want us to set up a grindstone, then. But we need to definitely be closing this. This is... It's all going a bit too quickly here. Stone, go and work over here for a second, because that guy's getting mad. I think we're going to say no to you, but we will say yes to you. Okay, this room is now currently workshop training room okay then we can make a library make this a workshop can i put oh i can't afford a grindstone now okay we need to continue to make a little bit of money to get our grindstone in so go back to smelting we'll open this back up and he's just gonna hang out until we've got this grindstone i guess Ooh, we've been warned by the english to stop helping the french hmm that, that doesn't feel great does it oh dear okay we better help this englishman then I think that will help everybody. Oh, we need to close up. Oh, what is that? That seems really good. Let's do that one. Okay, no, and we need to close up as well. Let's accept these last two. We do actually have enough now for that grindstone. So let's come back over here. The workbench, grindstone. But now we need to make a sword and then we need to... Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff happening. You have like, there's just, there are so many like little side quests just really constantly. So the suspicious men want 10 knives, five axes made almost at a loss. I think they're the bandits, aren't they? I think we refuse the bandits. Yeah, I don't know if that's the best choice, but it's the choice we've now made. Uh, Stone, go and do that. Arthur, you... Did you eat? Go eat your food. <laughs> go eat your food. You spend some time smelting, and then you might need to go to sleep, actually. Yeah, go to sleep. Just make sure we get the highest quality sword possible. You need to sleep as well. Both of you go to sleep. We'll make the sword in the morning. He's a very patient person, so it's okay. There's a very suspicious looking man there, though. What are you doing there, sir? All right, an impeccable sword. That's great, okay. Now, do we open up shop again for a little while? I suppose we do, but I think I would like to play this game again. I have massively enjoyed this game, and I hope you have too. If you have, make sure to leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any more. But thank you so much for watching. Go check this game out on Steam, and let me know what you think of it in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time. Take care, bye-bye.